Yo guys, Rush TV here, and welcome to the Norwich City career mode on FIFA 19. I'm so excited to start this career mode, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I tried to film it last week, but it just wasn't happening with my voice. But we're here today, guys, and I'm, I'm honestly so excited, guys. I want this career mode to be as interactive as possible, so be commenting down below, guys, suggestions for things like plays you want me to sign, so on and so forth. But we got a 7.5 million transfer budget, so it's gonna be interesting to see how we go. But I have some signings up, up my sleeve who I want to get done in today's episode. But we're going to be playing on ultimate difficulty, guys, so it's not going to be easy. But let's go and create our manager. All right, here he is, Patrick Roche, looking all suited up. Yeah, if you don't know, Patrick is my first name, so we're going to go options, go ahead of that. And yeah, guys, we are going to be playing on ultimate difficulty. We don't want it to be easy, guys. So the aim is, obviously, go to the Premier League and hopefully eventually win the Champions League. It's not going to be easy, guys. But fingers crossed we can do it. We're going to go on dollars, currency, current squads, initial squads. We'll go with current squads. And, yep, here we go. Advance. All right, here we go, you guys. Pre-season tournament. Of course, we're going to go accept this. I'm probably going to pre um, I'm probably gonna, um, simulate pre-season, guys, just because it's a little bit boring for you guys to watch. But down the line, I will be most likely streaming, um, streaming uh, pre-season on YouTube. So get around that, guys, for the next season. But, I mean, 5.8 million, guys. We need all the money we can get. So, hopefully, we can um, maybe win the preseason tournament. If we get to the finals of the preseason, I will play it. But, I don't know if that's going to happen, guys. We'll see how we go. We do have Cardiff in our group as well, who are a Premier League team. So, it's not going to be easy, guys. Just having a look here, guys. Our transfer budget actually isn't 7.5 mil. It's actually gone up to 10 mil. So, we'll happily take it, guys. But one of the first things I like to do is, even though youth, youth stuff isn't... Um, like one of um, Norwich's top priorities. I do want to get sign our youth staff and get out a few young... Look at, look for some young talent, guys, because, I mean, it's going to help in the long term. Obviously, we're looking for to build a younger squad, so we are going to go pick up Ian White. I don't want to spend too much money because I obviously do want to sign some players later in the video. We'll get Gabriel Santoro, and we will get uh, Clemens Dressler. My pronunciation, uh, my pronunciation is probably absolutely terrible, guys. But yeah, guys, I've sent those three scouts to their own country for three months looking for any player. If you wanna, um, want me to go search for any specific type of youth player in the future, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will definitely put your comment into consideration. One final thing I'm gonna give myself, guys, just for the first season. If you guys let me know how it's going to work um, in, in the later seasons down the line. But I am going to give myself a scout future star just to give myself one player who's going to be good in the future. So we are going to go redeem that item. And now let's go have a look at the squad. All right, so guys, one of the things I do want to do is that I want to transfer list a lot of the players who are starting to age and who are not going to really be playing. Like players like Michael McGovern, 33. I mean, he's, he's going down in his career, so we are going to add him to the transfer list. Where this, this main career mode is just, you know, trying to sign the younger guys and with, with potential and, and see how they go, guys. Yeah, so players like Tim Close, guys, although he's 74 rated, I mean, he's 30 years of age. And thing is, if we do sell him, we are going to get a lot of money from him. So we are going to add him to the transfer list. Uh, Marco Stieperman uh, can go to the transfer list. My pronunciation is just off today, guys. Really do apologize. Alexander Teddy, I am going to keep because... He actually has a very good card in FIFA for a silver, so I'm going to keep him. But just transfer list a few guys um, and, and trying to clear the club out a little bit for, for the younger players. And yeah, guys, the formation we're running is a 4-2-3-1. That's the default one, so I wanted to change it up a little bit and maybe push this um, right centre defensive mid up a little bit more to like a centre mid position and use these players as more, more forward. So right wing there. And then maybe, there we go, left wing. So something a little bit like that, guys, I think would be interesting. We'll see how we go with that. I mean, any formations, guys, um, that you think I should use, let me know in the comment section down below. As I said before, guys, just want this career mode to be as interactive as possible, as fun as possible, because if you guys are loving it, you guys are commenting down below, it makes it even better for me, even easier for me. So, guys, get commented down below for all your suggestions and ideas. All right, guys, I'm going to simulate here to the first game. We're going to... Um, Obviously, simulate um, preseason, as I said before, guys. I will do training uh, when when the main um, when the main championship starts. But 
We've got no requests from any players wanting to start, so I think we're just going to leave the starting lineup how it is. Probably get rid of uh, Stipperman because he's a left back player at Cam, so we we'll put Voranich there. And then besides that, I think. I mean, it should be fine, guys. It's only preseason. I'm not really, I'm not really too fussed about how we go in these games. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but we'll take all the money we can get, guys. We're mainly just going to be focusing on the championship because we obviously want to promote um, up to the Premier League. But we'll see how we go against Standard League. I think that's how you say it. The team from the Pro League. Bruin Dia gets the goal in the 26 minutes. So we're 1-0 up already, guys, which is good to see. Hopefully we can grab the three points. I probably should just skip this, but I mean, I just like watching it for the suspense. Marshall gets a goal, so we should have the win here, guys. 2-0 is the score. They get a goal back in the 84th minute, but it's not quite enough, guys. We do win our first game 2-1, obviously simulated. Um, but that's good. That's a good result, guys. Puts us top of the, the group stage table. We do have a transfer offer. That's for Matt Jarvis, guys. It's not the most... But it says his um, transfer value is between 340 and 510. And we've got an offer for Chapacuense. Mad rip there. $610,000. So I will happily take that, guys, because it is over his, his, va his value they're suggesting for him. So I will go accept that. Chapacuense can go have Matty Jarvis. And speaking of offers, we do have another one for Michael McGovern of 440 thousand dollars now this is for our 33 year old goalkeeper obviously he's not really going to be playing much for the team anymore so i will go and happily accept this these two players will go and add maybe about another million to my transfer budget which will help me sign my first big signing another transfer offer guys and this one is for mario varanish for 2.8 million now i could negotiate and try and get 3.2 out of him but again I think I'm just going to keep it how it is, don't cause too many issues, and just give the nod to final for 2.8 million. So after this, guys, I'll 100% be able to afford um, the player who I want to buy. Now, the guy who I want to buy, guys, obviously I'm not going to tell you guys yet, but it is an interesting purchase, I'm not going to lie. This player used to actually play for Norwich, and we're going to try and bring him back to the team and see how he goes this season. Nevertheless, that brings us into game two, I believe, against this Turkish side. I don't quite know, guys. But anyway, hopefully the Canaries can get the dub, be two out of two. Come on, lads, let's bring it home. One of their players grabs a goal in the 21st minute, and Hernandez is injured as well, which is not good to see in the 21st minute as well. So hopefully it's not too severe, because Hernandez is actually quite a good player. I believe he's 71 rated. But we do get a goal with Teti. They get a goal to make it 2-1, and it looks like it's going to be lights out, guys. 2-1 loss in our second game. Still three points. We still should be at the top. No, we're not. We're, we're in third place, so that's not looking good here, guys. Four things. I'll go to bed later. We have been given the information that Jarvis has sold, so $450,000 has added to our transfer budget on the injury. Hernandez is out for two months, which is absolutely devastating, guys. So he obviously won't be starting this championship season. We do have another transfer offer from San Lorenzo for Marco Steeperman. Uh, I just I need to get him out of the club, guys. I cannot pronounce that last name. So we are going to go and accept that from San Lorenzo for 1.2 million. And let's get into, hopefully, signing our first player. That's right, guys. The player I was going for is Nathan Redmond, 24 years of age. Did play for Norwich when they were in the Premier League. I'm pretty sure he probably played a couple of seasons on after that. I don't quite know when he moved to Southampton. But nevertheless, guys, we're going to go for him. It says he has that something special as well. So I have about $11.5 in the kitty to come spend here. And I believe that should be enough to come and purchase Nathan Redmond. So here we go, guys. Let's start with an initial offer. I'm going to say straight away $10 million. I'm, I'm putting all my eggs in one basket here, guys. But hopefully... Um, hopefully they can accept and hopefully I don't overpay as well 13.9 okay this is interesting here guys I genuinely might not have enough here it says we can actually spend 13.9 but we're obviously going to have to adjust our wages so I'm going to go 12.5 what are you saying about this um, I actually don't know what the Southampton manager is but what are you saying about this mate 12.5 million is that a fair offer 13.2. This guy's not biting. We're going to have to find somewhere in the middle. 
Hopefully, maybe 12.8. That should be fair. 12.8 million. Hopefully, he can agree on that. If not, this guy is an absolute dickhead. We'll accept that. Okay, beautiful. Mark Hughes has accepted Nathan Moret Redmond for 12.8 million. Really big purchase here, guys. Obviously, I am putting all my eggs in one basket, but I do have a few other players. Once, once um, some of the other lads sell as well, I should have enough to um, fix up the team in a couple more areas. But Nathan Redmond, hopefully we can go and purchase him, and hopefully he's not too much of a bitch with his wages. On the note of transfers, though, guys, I have been given two more transfer offers for Tribal and Thompson. Now, for Tribal, I've been offered... 4 million, but it says I can get up to 5.5, so I am going to go and negotiate with Cologne here and see if we can get a little bit more out of him. Here we go. Alright. Propose a new transfer fee. I'm going to just go straight and say 6 million. If they don't accept that, hopefully we can find something. Well, it looks like the transfer negotiations have broken down there. I've had a little bit of a shocker. Not going to lie. But... We still have that offer for Lewis Thompson. I am going to go accept that for 1,050,000. And that should be enough to get us over the line to go purchase um, Nathan Redmond. I still probably should have enough now, guys. Let's go and negotiate his wages. All right, lads. Here we go. All right. He's got to be a crucial team player. Obviously, he's, he's, he's in the golds, so he's definitely going to start for us. Now, this, this, is, this is where it's getting nervous here, guys. The length of his contract, I'm going to say four years. Hopefully, he can accept that. Three, four years, I'll be happy with. Two years, okay, I'm going to count on, I'm going to say three years. Three years, hopefully we can accept somewhere in the middle. There we go. Three, three contract is fine. And we're going to disregard the release clause. I don't think we would need that. Okay, 31000 per week. We'll sign a signing bonus of 280000 and 150,000 after five appearances. It says I can only counter. Now, edit wage and signing bonus. Okay, that's as much as I can. Okay, 25,000. Oh, okay, this, this is going to be interesting, guys. I'm going to edit this and say 205,000 and, and that, and then get his wage up to 26,050. 26,500, sorry. Please accept this, Redmond. I'm putting all my eggs in one basket here. Come on. He's not budging. He's not budging. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Edit bonus. Okay. I'm going to have to try and sort something out here, guys. All right, 28,000. Wait, have we... Okay, I'm going to try this, guys. I think it was 26,000 that I offered him. So, 28,270,000 bonus. I need to get 3,000 more, guys. What about if we say this? What if we do that? Okay, what... I really want to lower the signing bonus. And then increase the wage. So, how about we say... 150,000, oh boys, this is, this is tough, 120,000 signing bonus, and then 31,000, come on Nathan, don't be a little dickhead, okay, 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 we're gonna go all the way down to 100,000, and then make sure we get his wages, so let, let me, let me get it a little bit lower, 32,000 a week here, Come on. Don't dog it, Nathan. 31,500 a week. I'm offering you that. You little bitch. This guy, he's bloody... Oh, my God. This guy's agent is a fucking prick. Come on. Guys, I genuinely don't know what to do here. What if we go for, like, a really expensive signing bonus? What if we lower his wages a little bit? What if we say... 26,000 per week, and I increase his signing bonus all the way to almost 400,000. I'm trying everything here, lads. Oh, my days. Well, look, guys, we aren't going to have enough once our players sell, but 
That's rough. This guy's agent is just a fucking prick. So we're going to have to come back to that, guys. We will sign Nathan Redmond, guys. Do not worry. I really want him back in the squad. But at the moment, in the meantime, we are going to have to simulate our next game against Cardiff. Believe this is do or die. If we do lose this game, um, we aren't going through to the semi final. So we'll see how we go, guys. Fingers crossed. Pazlak gets a goal in the 10th minute to put us 1 0 up, which is good to see here. Let's have a sip of water. Oh, he gets a double. He's playing right back for us as well. That's insane. Imagine if the right back grabs a hat trick. We go 3 0 up here, guys, against Cardiff, a Premier League side here. Really not playing like a Premier League side. We go 4 0 up here. Wow, that is absolutely phenomenal, guys. 4 0 win. So that should hopefully be enough to get us into the semi finals against KAA Gent. So I'm not going to play this game, guys, but if we do get into the grand final, I will go and play that. But we have three things here. Okay. 1.4 there, 1.4 million, and we have got another transfer offer for Lewis Thompson for 1.1. So I'm going to go accept this because it is 50,000 more. I'm sorry, guys, all this video has just been transfer stuff. It's just getting the club ready for the championship, if you know what I mean, guys. So a lot of, a lot of maintenance in this episode, guys, but do assure me, next episode is where all the stuff will kick off. Hopefully, though, today, guys, we will be able to play our first championship game, though. But... If we do go to the final of the preseason tournament and we can play that, I think I will end there. And then next episode, we will start the championship season, guys. But nevertheless, we'll see how we go here, guys. But this team, this team, today is all about getting the team ready. One player who I did notice, 66 rated Aaron's, who was 18 years old. So this guy's going to be definitely good for the future. I will give him some starting time. I am going to keep Pazlak in the team, though, because he did get two goals last game. And just switching the team up for fitness for the semi-final here, go though, guys. Obviously, when the main season starts here, guys, I will get into all the custom tactics and stuff. But at the moment, we're just going to leave it as default. Hopefully, some of our players can sell because we really do want... Okay, that's good news. Steeperman has sold. I don't even know. Lewis Thompson, boss. I think I make a great replacement for Varanish's vacant position. Unfortunately, Thomas, mate, um, I believe you're going to be sold on anyway. So, but yeah. Uh, Nathan Redmond transfer offer, uh, okay, can we go and, okay, we can go and negotiate now, we guys, wait, 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 hold on, Nathan Redmond's took your terms into consideration, adjusted their terms, please review their demands and decide how to move forward, okay, well, we're gonna go and accept this offer, and now, is Nathan Redmond, Nathan Redmond is all of a sudden, magically, a Norwich player, is that it, guys, is that how it goes? It is indeed. Nathan Redmond is now at Norwich City, guys. You'll love to see it. Um, but yeah, 24 years of age, already 75 rated. He's going to be a good player to hopefully just get us through the championship. He's going to slot right into our team in the right wing position. And hopefully he can help us in the semi-finals. But that's a big signing here, guys. Now, I do want to try and sign a centre-back because I have transfer listed a few of these guys. And then after, I want to try and sign a midfielder because our team is looking a little bit... It's its not as much... Not as many players now, guys. I'm not going to lie since we have sold a few of our players on. But hopefully we can get some of our youth players in once we get our scattering report back at the end of the month. And then, obviously, a few... Uh, um, when, it, when, when we get more money, obviously, we're going to try and sign a few more players on the transfer market before the actual season starts. But nevertheless... Let's get into the semi-finals here, though, guys. I have been given a bloody email. Jamal Lewis, I've been pretty good form lately. You know, just a little bit up yourself, mate. But don't worry. We're going to give you the start. It's all good. We're going to start you over Aaron's. And then switch those two. Okay, we'll, we'll start with that, guys, in the semi-finals. Hopefully, we can get the win. Because if we do win this tournament, guys, we do get 5.2 million. And 5.2 million is going to help me so much with signing plays before the actual season starts. So let's go KAA Gent. I believe that's a team from Belgium as well. They've missed a penalty in the fifth minute, so that's good to see on our part. We do get a goal. Leitner scores in the 21st minute. One of their plays is injured. They equalise in the 34th. Intense business here, guys. Norwich player Zimmerman has been given two yellow cards and he's already sent off. Far out here, guys. That is not good news. Looks like we might be going here to extra time. 
And we've lost on penalties. No. Well, it looks like we're going to be playing our first game of the championship here, guys, in today's episode. Which, I guess, is good news in itself. We have seven emails. A lot of players are selling. Okay, this is really good news here, guys. Transfer off for Tim Close. It's just transfer offer after transfer after transfer offer, guys. It is insane. Um, I am going to go and negotiate here, guys. It's, it's, I, I feel I, I'm upset. I apologize, guys. We're just going to try and get through as many signings in today's episode. Get the team ready, as I said before, for the championship because that's what it's all about, here, guys. It is the big season, and we want to go up to the Premier League as soon as we can. Bring Norwich back to glory days. So, five million. Can they accept that? Four point three. Look, we're just going to go and accept 4.3. That's all good. 4.3, that's a lot of money. They'll be able to help me. Uh, we do get 1.8 million from the cup, which is good to see as well. Obviously, Zimmerman is suspended. But now if we go have a look at our transfer budget, we are looking at 3.38 million. So that might be close enough to signing the next player I want here, guys. But at the moment, I'm going to go fix up the custom tactics. Alright lads, so this is the formation that we're going to be using at the start of the season. A bit of like a 4-2-3-1 going on here, guys. Um, the custom tactics, if you want to have a look, we're on pressure on a heavy touch, balance, pretty much the same as I use in Ultimate Team. Um, go continue editing, and the, these are the formations and custom tactics that I am running for all the other ones, if you guys wanted to know. So as I said before, guys, any suggestions, leave your comments, leave your comment in the comment section down below. We have got a transfer offer from Bayer Leverkusen for Jamal Lewis. Now, I am going to reject this offer, guys, just because Jamal Lewis is 20 years of age, 68 rated. We do not want to get rid of him. He is the future for Norwich. So he's going to be our main starting left back probably for the majority of the season. So we want to make sure that we don't lose him. Jamal Lewis is staying in the club, mate. We have been given the heads up that Tim Close has sold. So 3 million has been allocated to our transfer budget. That should be enough to purchase my next player. And who is this player, you may ask? That is, of course, Reese Oxford from, of course, my team that I support, West Ham United. Now, don't call me a bias, guys, but this guy has got great potential. He's 19 years of age. He can play centre-back, CDM, or right-back. And, yeah, he's he's going to be a big player for me to buy. Six foot three as well. So, hopefully, he's not too expensive. I'm, I believe we have about six million to spend. And he's, I don't think he's even 70 rated yet. So, should be enough. Should be enough to um to purchase. I am gonna offer straight off the bat four million. Now don't walk out on me, please, please, please. I think that's a fair offer. Okay, beautiful. Reese Oxford, the deal is on the cards here, lads. Now all we have to do is negotiate his wages, and then there you go. Bang, second signing into the club. So here we go, here, lads. Big man Rochi gives him the turn. Let's go here, lads. Alright. Hopefully, um, the agent isn't a bitch like the last one. Squad rotation. He says he's going to be a rotation player. I think he's going to be an important player. So, hopefully that can, um, can help them be a little bit more lenient on the wages. So, squad role important. Um, now, let's discuss the length of the contract. Now, guys... I'm hoping to get him on a five-year contract. Maybe that's a little bit too optimistic. It says three-year. Okay, three-year. Well, last time with Nathan Redmond, they wanted a three, a two-year, and we managed to get a three-year. So, four-year contract. Can Reese Oxford settle on that? There we go. Four-year contract on Reese Oxford. I'm more than happy with that, guys. Um, yeah, that's all good, guys. We're going to go and accept that. No release clause. And here we go. Now, into the wages. 6,700 weekly, a signing bonus, beautiful. Too easy, guys. Let's go. I'm not going to go and negotiate that, guys. Wages are an absolute dickhead in this game. They're so hard to deal with, so I'm just going to go and accept whatever they say. And here we go, we lads. Reese Oxford, the second signing into the club. He is 67 rated, but as I said, guys, 19 years of age. He is going to be absolutely amazing in the future. So we are going to be doing a lot of training on him. We're going to go and replace him with Pinto on the bench and start him in at centre-back. We'll put him in for Hanley. All right, it's training time, lads. Here we go. First training session, mainly focusing on the young lads. But there we go. We've got two Bs, one C, and two A's. So that's really good. Obviously, no players have gone up in any stats there, unfortunately. But it's good to see that our players are doing well in training. Now, 
I don't think our game starts. Well, I don't know when our next game starts, but we do have a transfer offer for Grant Hanley for four million and fifty. So I am going to go and negotiate because it says I can get up to five point five million for him. So I am going to go and say five point five, and hopefully we can get a little bit more for Grant Hanley. Because um, Reese Oxford is obviously going to be the new replacement, so we may as well get rid of the centre back for this many, this much money. Guys should be able to get me my next signing that I do want, my final signing before we start the season, and, and this signing is obviously going to be another big one. So submit the offer, 5.5. That's more than we prepared offer. Can we settle on 4.3? We're also going to give you 5% of Hanley's future sale, so we to compensate. Okay. You know what guys, 4.3 and a 5% sell-on clause, that's fair enough, we will go and take that. So hopefully, we're probably going to get about 3 million from him when he sells, which isn't the best guys, which, sorry, which isn't the worst guys, I apologise. Um, now we, let me go and check on my calendar when our first game is. So our first game is on the 4th against Birmingham, so we will go and play that guys eventually um, at the end of the episode. But let's go and simulate in the meantime and see if any of our players sell on. Another transfer offer for Godfrey. Now I am going to go and reject this straight away because Godfrey is 20 years of age and he is going to be an important influential player in our midfield um, for this season. I don't want to get rid of every single player guys otherwise I'm going to be left with absolutely no one. See, our, our, our team's left a little bit, you know, a little bit scarce in some positions so that's why we have our youth academy sorted out and we're going to try and sign this final player. But hopefully we can get a little bit of money from Hanley. There we go, 3 million, there we go. And Lewis, look, don't, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm just going to reject, man. I'm not going to sell him. So, how much money does that give us? That gives us 5.3. Now I'm going to see if any other of our plays sell on. But I am going to try and sign this player before the season starts. In the meantime, we're going to do the same training session on these lads. Reese Oxford has gone up already to a 68 rated player. That just tells you something about this guy's potential, guys. Absolutely crazy. That, so that is very good to see. Reese Oxford doing well in training. And we're going to continue advancing. Our game is coming up very soon. But we do have our youth report, uh, our youth report come back and we do have our scout return with our scout future star which is good to see it is a goalkeeper Luis Mendoza who is already 65 rated age 17 so pre I'm pretty sure I'm just, I should just okay he's 65 rated and look at his fucking stats how does that make sense game how does a player 65 rated and he has stats like that he should be an outfield player this is stupid I don't, I'm so confused at the moment, guys. Luis Mendoza, no offense, he looks like he's of Asian descent. But why, why has he got such low stats? And he's a 65 rated goalkeeper. I'm just left absolutely baffled here, guys. But nevertheless, we're going to have a, a look at our monthly scouting report. Austria has brought us back Lawrence Dressler. I believe that's the same last name as our actual scout. So we are going to go and sign him. Um... Yep, all these players will be scouted further. Santoro from Italy has brought us back. Marco Greco, not the best value at the moment, but we are going to sign him up. And our final scout report in white has brought us back. Philip O'Connor, who looks very good. Um, Ian Brennan, who looks quite decent. We will keep having a look at him. But that should be about it, guys. So, some decent players. Who we got there, so we might we might sign those for the first game, but obviously they're not going to start. We do have 5.6 million in the bank here, guys, and I am going to try and sign this guy, maybe get him on loan. All right, guys, I have a few players who I do want to purchase down the line, but the main guy is of course Jaden Sancho. Is it Jordan or Jan San? I don't know, guys. I apologize, but this guy's been up on the scene lately. He's got five star skill moves as well. I don't have that much money, that's why I'm going to approach to loan and hope. I like it. Okay then, looks like we're going to have to approach to buy him. Come on game, don't dog me. We don't have much money, so I'm not expecting too much. We might have to offer a player swap here. Player swap, winger. I'm going to offer Hernandez. Listen, Sancho, 
We can't let Sancho go unless you offer a play to suit our needs and budget. We aren't interested in Hernandez, but we're looking to bring in a winger, centre back, or striker. He is a winger, wing back, but okay then. Offer other player, um, offer other position. Sorry, strikers. I do have a lot of strikers in my club, so maybe um, Nelson Oliveira. He's worth five million. Okay. Are we allowed to offer a player and a transfer fee? We're not allowed to do that. Alright, I'm just going to put all my eggs in one basket, guys. 6.3 million for Sancho. Can we get him? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Well then, lads, maybe we can sign Dan Axel Zagadou. That's a very lovely name. Six foot five as well. He can play centre back or left back. Come on then. He is as well at Dortmund. Come on. Offer. All right, let's let's, off, let's offer. Okay, we know we they want a striker. So how about let's just offer Oliveira straight off the bat. Okay, they're being a little bit of a dickhead again here. So let's offer a transfer fee. Let's go 5.5 million here, guys. 5.5 million for Zagadou. I don't know what he's rated. Um, so it could be interesting here. I think that's a fair offer. I hope I didn't overpay. But it looks like we have a deal here, guys. And our last player could be Dan Axel Zagadou. Zagadou, Zagadou. I just, I'm, looking, I'm making myself look like a fool here, guys. But we do need to bolster our defense because uh, we did get rid of quite a few players. So... Hopefully this guy and um bloody what's his name Reese Oxford at the back can be two very viable options for our first game. Now here we go the wages, important team player I will happily accept that. Now how many years do you want to sign? I'm gonna go four years. Hopefully he can accept that. Two year deal. Okay that means we can get him for three years because that's happened every other time. Three years. Okay three year deal. Perfectly fine with that. We're going to disregard the release clause. Now let's get into talking money. No, I hate it when I have to do this, guys. Okay. I'm going to go offer 12 million. No, I don't want to offer that much. All right, let's do that. And a signing bonus of 100,000. I hope I'm not overspending, and I hope they don't walk out of me here. That's a fair offer. Okay. Fair enough here, guys. Does that mean... That means that we have... Our third and final signing before the first game of the season, guys. It's been a stacked episode for signings, but here we go, guys. Zagado, he is 70 rated. Looks decent. He's got 86 strength as well. He can play center back or left back. How quick is he? So he's not the quickest, but six foot five, guys. And he's going to be coming in in the center back position. So here we go. We're going to be starting Reese Oxford and Zagado, the two new signings at center back. Now, I'm going to do some final changes here, guys, before we get into the first game of the season, but exciting stuff here, lads. All right, lads, this is going to be the team that we're going to be starting off the first game of the season with Tim Krul in goal, Zagado, and Oxford at centre-back. I think we're going to stick with Zagado. Um, Aaron's at right-back, Lewis at left-back, so a very young defence there. I'm pretty sure the oldest guy there is 20 years old. Try ball in the left-centre defensive mid-position, Teti wearing the captain's armband, right centre mid, Cantwell at up at Cam, Marshall on the left, Nathan Redmond up on the right, and Oliveira up top. Let's get into it, guys. Here we go, here, lads. First game of our championship campaign against Birmingham away. We're at St. Andrews. Big game here, guys. On ultimate difficulty, I'm not going to lie. Pretty nervous. The players are walking out. Let's go, here, lads. Fingers crossed here, guys. Hopefully we can start off the season start off the season strongly. Let's go here, lads. Come on, the Canaries. Zagado, the big man, in the Teti. Playing it out nicely here. Let's go here, boys. Teti, into Oliveira. We're going to have a shot here already with Cantwell. Goes in straight to the hands of Kuz Kuzak. But still, guys, early shots. Looking good here. Oh no, he's dummy like a dinner there. Had a shot early. Oh. And he's gone out for a goal kick. That was a big chance there for the Brummies. Almost got the goal there. 
Tim Krul had it covered nevertheless, but still. Game's end to end so far. Well done, Reese. Oh, well done, Reese Oxford. That's it, buddy. Well done. Getting stuck in. Well done. Alright, let's go here, lads. Oh, what am I doing? Just gifted possession right there. Right into the hands. Good save, Tim Krul. Good save. Gone out for a corner kick, guys. I really shouldn't be fucking around the back with a ball. But Tim Krul, what a save. Brilliant strike by, was that Adams? It's out for a corner. And they're going to whip one in. Heads it. And it's gone out for a goal kick. Hold well on. Well done, Aaron's. Been a quiet first half so far here, lads. I'm not going to lie with you. Been a very, very, very quiet first half. Both teams had a couple of chances early in the game, but besides that, absolutely lackluster. Tetty with the shot. We've been given an option, and Tetty, who's been on fire all game, has scored. What a strike by the lad from outside the box. Nonchalant finished by the skipper. There we go. 1-0 to start off our campaign against Birmingham City. Away from home. The fans are going crazy. Good to see here, lads. It just happened all of a sudden. I'm not going to lie here, guys. Like, the game has been absolutely nothing so far. And then the ball just falls to Teddy. Has a strike, and away you go. Beautiful stuff. Look at that. See you later. No chance from the keeps. Rochi's happy, mate. Why am I speaking in third person? Gonna not give them a chance here. Shut him down here, boys. Come on. Come on. That's what I mean. They can just go up like that and fucking score. See what I mean? How powerful were those shots here? There's no way that the keeper's saving that. Just absolute clusterfuck at the back there, unfortunately. And they've gone back up and scored Birmingham, making it one all. I just don't understand with them, some of these shots. It just feels like there's sliders on. Like, if we have a look at the replay here, lads. Look how powerful this is. Just bang. Mate, that's that's just that's some Hulk stuff right there. Fucking hell. And he's just absolutely wonder strike that. No way Tim Krul saving that. Alright, half time whistle goes. One always the score. It's a shame to see here, lads, I'm not gonna lie. We did score that goal and then Birmingham just went straight up the field as ultimate difficulty does and just absolutely hammered it past Tim Krul. But one all guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's not going to be easy, ultimate difficulty. It's not going to be easy. But that's the fun of it here, lads. Let's get into the second half. Hopefully, we can win the game. Off kick, off, kick off. Already making a chance here. Jamal Lewis goes out wide. Let's go. Come on. Going to hold it up here. Tribal. Cantwell. Into Oliveira. No one's pressing here. Come on. Oliveira gives me the shot. Oh! Thought that went in here, lads. I'm not gonna lie. That was very close. The number nine finesse shots. How close was that? Very, very, very close. Just skimmed the crossbar right there. That's very unlucky. Teddy, hold him off here. Far out. Teddy is a beast, man. Like he is so strong. Let's go, Oliveira. Hold it up nicely. There we go. Can't well. Just ultimate. They don't press, but they they read the runs so nicely. Here we go. In the Teddy. He's going to have another strike. Turns and hits. And... Oh, I wanted it to go out for a corner there, but we don't get it. Cantwell, nevertheless, is going to hit one. And is going to go straight into the throat of Kuzak. We are going to make substitutions now here, guys. Come on, boys. There we go. Redmond. In the Marshall. Can we get a shot off here? Marshall with the hit. What a save from the Birmingham keeper. Far out. Brilliant diving save. Let's have another look at that. The number seven hits it. Cantwell dives out of the way. What a save, boys. Far out. We are unlucky there. But that brings me on to triple substitution. We are bringing on Lighten for Cantwell. I will actually show you guys. Um, Pazlak's coming on for Aaron's. Um, Godfrey's come on for the CDM. I forget his name, guys. I apologize. And um, Lightner has come on for Cantwell at Cam. We are going to swing one in here. We have got quite a few big plays, I'm not going to lie. We do have quite a few big plays. Zagadu sitting at the back stick is 6'5". 
try and find one of the noggins on those blokes. Teti goes to him, Zagado over the bar. That was close here, lads. That was very close. Got the header. Bullet just over the bar. And now they're going upfield. Jamal Lewis is left chasing. And we are going to clear it out here nicely. But I've just gifted possession right back to him. What are we doing here, lads? Come on, and he's had a shot. Hit the crossbar. That's what I mean. That is what they're capable of. Ultimate difficulty. Just look at that. Bang on the volley. Absolute wonder strike. Hit the crossbar. Absolutely shattered it. <sighs> game is intense here, lads. First game of the season is absolutely intense. Pazlak. Come on. In the middle. Oliveira turns, shoots, misses by a bee's penis. Oh my days, I thought I had it there, boys. Oh my god, that was close. Oh my god, that just skimmed the post. Charlie Adams has the ball. Crosses it in, well cleared. Come on, lads. Gifted possession away, come on. Has the... That's what I fucking mean, man! How can Birmingham do that?! 87th minute goal, absolutely devastating. And again, another fucking wonder strike. I don't understand, boys. Ultimate difficulty is just fucking on drugs. Look at this goal. I don't understand. You just knew it was coming. Look, bang, bang. What the fuck is that? Far out, man. Alright, we have got the ball. Come on, boys. Everyone, get the fuck up. Lighten has done well. Redmond. See the through ball into Oliveira. Last final chance here for the boys. Everyone in the... What the fuck are you doing, man? Full-time whistle blows here, boys. 2-1 loss in the first game against Birmingham. In my opinion, we definitely didn't deserve it. Their, their two goals, man, were just... FIFA on drugs. But what, as I said before here, guys, this career mode is not going to be easy at all. So that's all part of the fun here, guys. Game was fairly even, I guess you could say, at the end of the day. First half, there was absolutely nothing. But second half, guys, it was end-to-end -end stuff. I mean, what can you do? 2-1 loss. The boys played well. I mean, again, that's FIFA for you. Alright lads, so that's going to conclude the first episode of the Norwich City career mode. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty devastated about the loss, but what can you do? As I said before guys, I want this career mode to be as interactive as possible. So leave down comment section, comment in the comment section down below and just get talking lads. Get talking, have a bit of fun with this career mode. Um, and yeah, we made a few good signings in this episode, so I'm pretty happy about that. But yeah, I'm going to be trying to upload this career mode two to three times a week, guys. I feel like that's a good aim, so look forward to that, lads. Nevertheless, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.